All right, so you get your rag, stuff it up in your cylinder to hold your valves in place. Drop your head on your workstation, push the rag so it stays nice and tight. Take what I'm using is a three quarter inch flat wrench, pop it down on top of your retainers, push down, and your clips will fall out of place. Dropping out your valve spring, your retainer, and the clips. Got your valve spring. You got two zip ties. Right here I've got five inch zip ties. Seven inch would probably work a little better. They would be a little bit stronger. But these have been working just fine. You take it, you don't want to thread it through like this because you have to leave room to drop your retainer in and it has to sit flush on the bottom of where the spring rides on the head. So you take your zip tie and you start to thread it through the springs right here using your hand to stuff the end of the zip tie down so it goes through the middle of the valve. Start to slide it in there. Slide it down some. Before it tops out of the pop, pops out of the top, using your fingers you slide it into the other end of the valve away from the very end of the spring, I mean spring. Keep sliding your zip tie through, pull it through, all the way to where the head is resting up against the spring. Here's the tie into place. Grabbing it like this, put your thumb on the head of the zip tie, squeeze on the spring, and push on the zip tie head, and pull on your extra slack. Okay, and another trick, slide the zip tie first where the spring is coiled tighter. See, there's tighter coils, more, more spring here than there is right here. That helps the head stay, the head of the zip tie, stay where it needs to, so it tightens down easier. Right, you slide your second one in. You only need two zip ties for this, 180 degrees around from each other, obviously. Okay. Cinch it tight. You can grab some pliers if you want to help pull on the zip tie. Get it tight. Make sure your zip ties are still lined up and directly across from each other. It's going to look like this when it's done. All right. Bring it over to your vise. Drop it in. Tighten your vise up. Cinch it down on your zip ties to pull the slack out of them. And you bring it back over to your head. Okay. Where there are tighter coils and there are looser coils, the looser coils go to the retainer clip. The tighter coils go to the bottom because this thing is heavier. Makes your valve chain lighter. All right, we're going to put our valve seal in place. Make sure it's nice and tight. Drop it in. Push your spring in there. Make sure the zip ties go past your valve seal because sometimes it's a little tight. Now this is a D16 head that I'm doing this on. Okay, drop your retainer on. See, it leaves plenty of slack. There's the edge where your retainer clips go in. Right. First retainer clip in. Put the valve in place. Drop your other retainer clip in. And it's done. Make sure your retainer clips, obviously, are seated in the right spot on the valve and using the zip tie, hold up on the valve spring and then snip the zip tie at the top of the head on the zip tie. Boom. Just pop in place. Snip your other side. Alright, pull on the head with some needle nose pliers to get the zip tie out of there. Now your zip tie can get stuck in the valve if you don't do it right. If you don't do it nice and easy, it can get stuck. You're going to want to check after you pull your zip ties out, there's, there's not a piece of zip tie left inside the valve itself. But that's it the zip tie valve spring compressor.